The Price of Love, Part 2. Good morning, sir. How are you? Good morning. How was your weekend? Good, good. Thank you. Shauna, how could you make such a mistake? I don't understand what you mean. What are you talking about? Okay, I'll explain. Our Italian partners don't speak a lick of English. That means we won't represent ourselves, right? And you went and fired our translator. Where are we going to get another one? Please explain. Calm down, please. I don't understand why I'm the one who's responsible for everything. Lena, bring me some water now. I'm working alone. Do you understand that? I have no help. And this secretary is driving me crazy. That's not what I'm talking about. A multi-million dollar contract down the drain. All documents are in Italian. How are we going to talk to them? Gestures? Excuse me, but I... Excuse me, please don't butt in. Can't you see we're talking? Don't you have any tact at all? Hold on. What do you want to say? I think I can help. I speak Italian. It seems like you barely speak English. No, thanks. We don't need your help. Would you look at these documents, please? They're in Italian. Can you translate them? I can. Then do it. You have one hour. Okay. <sighs> what an amateur. Hi, Mom. Slava, are you not ashamed? You haven't called your mom for two weeks now. What's this about? Don't you care at all about my health and well-being? Mom, I'm sorry, but I've been buried under work. Okay, so you work, but what about your wife, at the very least? She could be concerned about how I'm doing and if I need anything. After all, I'm an elderly person, and I need help sometimes. Mom, Lena isn't here anymore. She's, uh... She's run away with a lover. She left me and Katya and fled to some faraway place. Oh no, my god. That's so terrible. Oh. What a catastrophe. Slava, how are you getting by on your own? Didn't I tell you this serpent would show her true colors one day? You're right, you did. I never really did like her. A mother's heart knows the truth. Oh my goodness, my son. Now what are you going to do? Mom, what else can I do? Live, I guess. Please, excuse me, I have to go to work. Bye-bye. Ah. Oh. Are you sure this is all? You haven't missed anything? I'm sure I haven't, Mr. Vladimir. You know, sometimes it's more difficult to check mistakes made by students than to actually translate complex text. Well, that's great. That's great. Are you able to translate simultaneously? <laughs> I mean, judging by these papers you prepared, you won't have any problem with it. <sighs> I think I can handle that. Thank you. You can go. Fine. Sono molto felice che il nostro incontro sia è stato così protettivo. Saremo felici di lavorare con la vostra ditta. Signor Moretti considers our meeting really fruitful and will be glad to cooperate with our company. Mr. Moretti, thank you very much. We'll be glad as well. Hope to see you soon. Goodbye. Saremo felici di lavorare anche con te. A presto, grazie. A presto, grazie. Arrivederci, signora. Arrivederci. Goodbye now. Well, Lena, thank you very much. Ask for whatever you want. We owe you. Uh, well, thank you. Actually, I have some urgent business in Moscow tomorrow. Can I take the day off? Sorry, but I think that's a bit much, Lena. We've only just started working here. Well, I personally think you've done such a good job, you deserve not one day off, but three days off. Thank you very much, Mr. Vladimir. That's very kind. May I go now? Of course. Goodbye. Goodbye. <sighs> L 
Lena, you mustn't. Don't be nervous, you shouldn't worry. Behave with dignity, shoulders back, chest forward. Divorce isn't a big deal. You're not the first and you won't be the last. Oh, the thing I'm most nervous about is, who will Katya want to live with? Will she want to live with me or Slava? If it's with Slava, I don't know, this will kill me. Lena, don't think of that now. Be positive, is that clear? Everything will be fine. Mm -hmm. Come on. And call me when it's over. Okay, bye. As long as the parties haven't filed for division of property, the court shall only consider the issue of residence of the children. The court calls Katya Denisov. Katya, would you please tell us, who would you like to live with? Your father or your mother? With my dad. But Katya... Silence in the courtroom. You can go, Katya. <laughs> Dad, can I go? Katya. It's good to know there's some justice in the world. What a great day this is. What a horrible person you are. How could I have not seen that? I should have divorced you long ago. Who needs you and all your whining? Even your boyfriend understood that, and that's why he left you. What a good guy. Hey, listen. You just wait. You'll fall on your knees begging for forgiveness. What is Vika doing here? Hello. Hello, my dear. Let me introduce you to my beloved woman. Though, I guess you already know each other. Yes, I thought I did. Hello, dear friend. Congratulations. You got your way after all. Thank you. I just can't understand why you're so angry. I didn't steal your husband. I simply saw the true value of him. Okay, you're birds of a feather. Well... As they say, I wish you happiness in your life. Well, some say. You know what? Mm -hmm. I just thought of a wonderful idea of how we could celebrate your divorce. Mm hmm? Well then, why don't you tell me about it? You know, I had a thought that maybe next time, you could go shopping on your own. Mm. By the way, I'm doing this for you. <sighs> I just want my man to like me. I like you very much. Really? Yeah. Listen, I've thought, as long as you're divorced now, can we go further? What do you mean? Well, I've just been thinking, although popular, living together isn't really that serious. I've always wanted to have a family and children. Is that too much? <laughs> As you already said, I've just gotten divorced. And I would like to live quietly and do whatever I please. But I also want to have you close to me. Okay. I understand. That's wonderful. Not a single day without any problems. Every day a new drama, one way or another. Is my coffee ready? Yes, sure. You're so slow. The 
this is disgusting. Can't you do something this simple? Where did this airheaded woman come from? Good morning. Is something wrong? No, everything's fine, Vladimir. Oh, by the way, Vladimir, can you step into my office? We need to talk about something. Yes, of course. After you. Coffee's fine. Yes, I've come on business only. <laughs> well, let's get down to business. <sighs> yes. I see you're not happy with Lena, right? You have no idea how hard it is working with her. She's an idiot. Despite her fluent Italian, she's not very bright at all. Her behavior is disgusting, and she snaps at me. I'm better off without her. Oh, really? Well, I guess I'll take her then. What? No, I was going to fire her. No, I'll take her on as a personal assistant. Her knowledge of Italian will come in handy. And you can find another secretary. A better one. You can take mine. Though I'm afraid it won't be for long. See you. Oh. Lena, I'm gonna need your help with some of my clients. I hope that's okay. Yes, of course it is. That's good. Get ready to move to the desk outside of my office. And don't waste any time. We have a lot of work to do. Okay. And get all your stuff out of here. Hello. We've waited for you a while. For what? Um, come to the kitchen, wash your hands and sit down. Um, thank you for the invitation, of course. But you do know this is my house, Shut right? Shut your mouth, Katya. Come to the kitchen, quickly. We have to tell you something very important. Mm, all right. <clears throat> What's the deal with the huge feast? Um, Katya, <laughs> the thing that we wanted to tell you is that Vika will be moving in with us. What does that have to do with me? What do you mean? Any reaction on your side? No. Well, congratulations. Katya! She's become so rude. No respect for the adults. Slava, don't worry, I didn't get upset. Everything's okay. Well, this guy's a no. What about this one? Wow. Lena. I found him, I think. Look at this heartthrob. Hmm? Listen, if you want, I can ask him if he has a brother or any nice friends, and this way we can find a boyfriend for you as well. Thank you, but no. All right, whatever. Hello there, Anton. Answer the phone, please. Dahlia? Hmm? What should I do? What do you mean? My daughter doesn't want to talk to me. My situation has clearly improved. I found work, I have a place to live, thanks to you, yet I'm feeling down. Come on, stop it, Lena. Well, just give her a little bit more time. There'll be weekends. You'll go there, you'll see her, talk to her. Things will straighten out. 
She's always been such a sensitive child, and I really hurt her. Lena, you've always been the perfect mother, no doubt about that. And you have absolutely nothing to blame yourself for. <sighs> well, okay. I'm talking and talking about myself. Has your heartthrob responded yet? <laughs> he has. Lena, he's asking me out on a date. I feel a little bit scared. You know what? You should go. Really? Well, is there any other way for you to find out about him? Uh-huh. Vika! Yeah? Don't you remember we have an important day today? It's very important. Really? Have you forgotten? My mom's coming over for dinner tonight. Of course I remember. No need to remind me. So you need to clean everything up here and cook your special salad. With chicken. Uh-huh. Dad, have you ever seen Vika cook anything at all? Well, learn how to cook ready-made ravioli first and then do your thing. Please, don't argue. Just get to work, do your business. Everything will be done by the time you come home. Your mom will be delighted. You're the perfect woman. Mm-hmm. Oh, and by the way, don't forget about your Russian lesson. It's today. In fact, I paid for the whole year in advance. All right, that's it. Bye, girls. Bye. Bye. Bye, Dad. The first thing we'll do is start with the cleaning. Have you held a mop in your hands before? Yes. Thank God, that was a very long time ago. Hello? Good morning. I'd like to have a full-scale cleaning today. Yes, after lunch. Yes. That'll be fine. Oh, your manager will call me back? That's fine. Thank you. Yes, I'll wait. Goodbye. Thanks again. Vika, you're so businesslike. You line up everyone. You're even doing it to my dad. Though it's not that easy. But by the way, this is not going to work with me. Sweetie, I'm not going to line you up. I think you're grown up enough to decide for yourself what it is you need. Now, I'm going to do some shopping. Will you join me? But I have my Russian class today. Dad will get angry. Well, you know, your dad doesn't need to know. Go and get ready. This is awesome. We bought just about everything. Give me a napkin, please. A young girl like yourself has to know how to dress. <laughs> do you think that your grandmother will like the scarf? Yeah, I think it will do. Oh, Vika, Dad's coming home soon. Time to go? We have another hour left. We won't have time to get everything ready. Thank you for reminding me of that. Excuse me. Uh, we'd like to order this. And this. And this one. And two of these. Take out and the bill, please. That's mom. <clears throat> Welcome home, mom. Hello. <clears throat> it's good to see you, dear. Mm -hmm. Any trouble getting here? Not really. <sighs> Come on in, mom. <clears throat> <clears throat> well, hello, Katja. Hello. 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 And who do we have here? Mom, I want you to meet Vika. Antonina, hello. I'm happy to finally meet you and have you here. Well, everyone's here. I think we can sit at the table. 
Please take a seat, Mom. Thank you. <clears throat> Slava, serve us, please. Some wine? Yes, please. Mom? Hmm? Antonina, please taste this special salad that I made for you. Thanks so much. I would like to propose a toast to our new friend. <clears throat> I hope it's not too bad. It's actually quite good. You have really good taste, Vika. I value your opinion a lot, as Slava loves and values you so much. We were at the shop and saw a beautiful scarf, and Slava said his mother would be happy to have it. You shouldn't have spent so much on it. Thank you, Slava. <clears throat> Mom, Thank I you. Thank you, Vika. Slava, the main course. Oh, yes, the main course. <clears throat> I hope you like fish. A lot. <sighs> she seems like a good one. You finally found someone decent this time, my son. Nina, why are you still here? The working day is over. How much longer are you going to stay? Enough. <sighs> the boss asked me to do something for him. The boss, the boss. Let his dame work over time. That's her job. I never see you. You're always at work. Well, we're having an important presentation tomorrow, you know. He's at work himself. Mm -hmm. Why are you so dressed up today? Hmm. Well, I thought he wouldn't mention. Oh. <laughs> By the way, I'm having a date with my darling Anton. Ah, oh, that's the reason. Well, good luck. Thank you very much. In general, there are not too many decent men out there. Bye. <laughs> Lena, it's so good that you're here. I wanted to ask if you could stay a bit longer, if you don't have anything urgent, of course. No, nothing urgent. I'm completely free until Friday. Oh, till Friday? But I don't understand. It's only Monday today, Vladimir. Well, we weren't talking to you, Jana. Uh, can I have a word with you? Yes. Yes? Did you forget? I made a reservation at our favorite restaurant later tonight. Candles, music, some good wine. Jana... We haven't got much time. But... I'll be working all night. I'm, I'm... I'm sorry I can't make it. You work too hard. You shouldn't do everything by yourself. Why myself? I... Lena will help me. Oh, Lena. Okay, I'm leaving. All right, Lena, let's go through the papers and have a look at the documents. The documents are ready. I'll just show you. I'll be back. Good evening, Galia. Good evening, Anton. Uh, these are for you. Oh, thank you. Um, you had a lucky guess. These are my favorite flowers. <laughs> Indeed. You look even better in life than on the picture. Really? I'm ten years younger in that picture. You're so sincere and spontaneous. Galia, you know that's a rare thing now. Galia... Hmm. I guess I finally found a real diamond. You're flattering me. No, Galia, really. Mm. Shall we sit down at the table? Let's go. After you. Jana, what are you doing here? 
Didn't I say I was going to be working late tonight? Well, I came to see what you were working on and who you were working with. I don't understand. You understand perfectly well, Vladimir. Do you think I don't see how this big city girl is looking at you, hmm? Jonna, I'm tired of you being jealous all the time. I don't know what you want, while all I want to do is finish everything and have a little downtime. Hmm. Well, that's a good idea, a little downtime. How about we go somewhere together for a week? All right, all right. Except that now I have to think of work and nothing else. When we sign this contract with the Italians, we'll go for sure. Whether we're ready for this contract or not, we'll find out tomorrow. What's tomorrow? The presentation. What presentation? Yes, I decided to give you a break. You have a lot of stuff to do anyway. Lena and I are handling everything. Now don't get angry. <laughs> Thank you for caring. Well, if you need to, then do it. Since we didn't go out to dinner tonight, I'll just go and order some takeout then. Yes. Lena. Oh, Lena? Lena. Hello, there you are. Lena. I think I finally met my Mr. Big. Is that so? Hmm? Yeah. I've never felt anything like that before. That is, you know, as they say, love at first sight. Like soulmates, so soon on your first date. You don't know what he's like. He's so handsome, he has beautiful eyes. Well, overall, he's like, hmm. Waiting all this time has not been in vain. You meet someone like that once in a lifetime. I'm happy for you, my friend, but sorry, I'm going to bed now. I have a huge presentation to do tomorrow and after that, my nightmare will be over. All over. Oh, wait! Just a minute. Have you decided on what to wear for this presentation yet? Well, that doesn't matter. I have a suit, a beautiful one. It's a bit small for me. Well, it doesn't matter. It'll fit you. Get over here. Let me show you. Come on. Come here. I'll show you. Let's go. You're Let's so go. A great suit. Today. You're gonna look great! Well, I guess we're ready to start. <laughs> Oh, 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 well, Lena, since this little accident happened, I guess I'll have to take your place. Give me the paperwork. Do you want me to help you or what? No, thank you. Oh. I got this. I guess we'll see. Look at how Denisova is dressed. Indeed. Doesn't look too professional, right? I'm gonna have to give Lena a pay raise. For her nerves of steel. Good afternoon, dear colleagues. <laughs> Lena, let's go have some tea. You're a star. I can't believe it. You won them over. You're so amazing. I'm sorry for the jacket. Don't forget it. It's too tight anyway. Alia. Yes. This is for you. For your tea. Thank you, Kolia. Lena, that was like... I see that you have some new admirers. Who? This one? Mm hmm That's Kolia. You better pay attention to him. He's nice. I don't need him. I have my aunt on now. Aren't you rushing? You've known each other for such a short time. You know, you don't need much time for that. Do you really think that a young, handsome man can't just be interested in me? Galia, what are you talking about? That's not what I meant. <laughs> oh, Lena! Listen, can you come to our place tonight? Hmm? So we can meet you? How can I say no? Of course. Mm -hmm. Let's go and have you tea. You sweets? The way you spoke, Lena, that was really something.
Mm. Seriously, Galia, you're the best woman. You can cook a good soup and keep everything clean. Mm. You also help your friend with work. I'm crazy about you, Galia. Yes, our Galia is great. Oh, don't overpraise me. Mm -hmm. What would I do without you? Lena, uh, the thing is, well, Anton and I, we decided to move in together. Congratulations. <laughs> Thanks. Um. Mm. Uh, the thing is, well, you understand, there isn't enough room for all of us, and... I understand. I'll find my own apartment. Well, you don't have to be in such a hurry, mm -hmm. Lena. You must find a really good apartment first, otherwise we're not going to let you go. Galia, you've done a lot for me already. It's about time I stood on my own two feet. It's okay. All right. Thank goodness. What about the main course? Hmm. Hello. Hello. Why are you ringing the doorbell? I forgot to take my keys. Is Katya home? She is. Katya! Come over here now! Why did your principal call me to tell me that you skipped school last Wednesday? We only had PE and health education. Why did I need to go? It's school, that's why. Your teachers are telling me that you're out of control and flunking out of all your classes. Listen to me, no more friends, no more parties, just school and home. Is that clear, young lady? I'm so sick of going to school. And I'm so sick of all of you as well. I hate it. I really hate all of you because nobody needs me in this house. Katya, Katya, come back here. <sighs> well, listen. You shouldn't get so upset. What am I even going to do with her? I don't know. Well, this school system is somehow discouraging her. Listen, do you think that maybe we should find a good boarding school and send Katya there? Are you suggesting that I get rid of my daughter? What do you mean, get rid of? I'm just thinking of Katya. <sighs> I'm sorry, I, I don't want to do that. You have to understand me. Katya is my child. I can't get rid of her and pretend she just doesn't exist anymore. Really? But think, in this situation, it's not just you who's suffering. Katya's suffering, and I'm suffering too. Slava, you waste your energy on useless, constant fighting. You could focus that energy into your work, your business. You're so talented at that. Slava, you're so smart. You know, Vika, I just want to say one thing. You are the woman of my dreams. You are smart and clever. You understand me like nobody else does. So, will you marry me? <laughs> are you actually being serious with me? I'm actually being serious. I'm sorry to do it this way, without <laughs> flowers, a ring, or a restaurant, but, but here. Thank you. I'll treasure it for my entire life. And as for the ring, mm. we could pop into a jewelry shop and to the registrar's office to file for our marriage license. Yes? Mmm. <laughs> mmm. <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> Hello, Katya. How are things? Terrible. My father hates me. Family fights are awful. 
<laughs> Let's go and have some fun. Go and have some fun. But Dad doesn't allow me to go out. Are you in kindergarten? Okay. Okay, I'll try. <laughs> Wait for me outside. Well, how are you? I feel much better. Shall we go and have some fun? Let's go. Let's go. <sighs> what, is he really strict? Yes. Hey, Lena. You don't hear me. You have what changed you so much, Vladimir. You paid no attention mm. to me. Are they having another fight? For more than an hour already, I'm starting to get a headache from it. I bet. Well, Jonna, I'm tired of you being jealous. You won't stop talking about this. It's not professional, and it's bad for business. Remember that. Really? Do you even think about me? You spend more time with this big city girl than you do with me. You don't even care about our relationship. We've been together five years now. I was with you when you first started your business. I helped you with everything. Everything. And you... <gasps> You haven't even proposed to me, Vladimir. Jonna, that's enough. Let's stop with the arguing already. Vladimir! Listen. All right, then. Tomorrow at 11, the business center in Old Town have all the documents ready. We will be signing the contract with the Italians, so please do not be late. And whatever you do, don't screw this up for us. Oh, our dame, I reckon, has gone completely nuts. I'll go and work for a while as well. See you. Galia. Oh, hello. I, I was going to call you. Really? Yes, listen, our work email server's not working very well. Can you take a look at it? Yeah, of course. Uh -huh. Yes, and Galia. What, anything else? Yeah, uh, thing is, I wanted to invite you, um, to... Wait. Hello? Yes, Anton, darling. <laughs> That's fine. Earlier? A surprise. <laughs> Just a second. Can we talk about this later? Of course. Yeah, Donnie, yes, my dear fluffy cutie. <laughs> Just a moment. Yes. Where are you? I'm here in Old Town, and there are no offices or business centers. It's not Old Town. I said downtown. Clean out your ears. They're about to head to the airport. Do you realize that you're ruining the deal? All right, do whatever you need to do to get here, but the contract must be signed today. Clear? <laughs> Well, then? Well, uh, Lena got it wrong. She went to another part of the city. Um, uh, I'm very sorry. Um, I don't know how to say there's a mistake. Um, uh, mistake uh, Um, the thing is, the documents will be delayed. 
Nacumento Losto. Oh, no, not lost. D d delayed. Yeah. We need to wait a bit. Uh, we need to wait a Scusami, questo è inaccettabile. Dalla nostra parte tutto era pronto per fermare il contratto. Adesso siamo, per ritardo per il nostro volo. Quando avanti con il tuo lavoro. Do you understand what she's saying? Um. Arrivederci, signore. Now I understand. There's no deal. I get it. Well, okay. Yes, it's you seven. Got it. I'll call you. <sighs> Thank you for finally showing up. That's a big honor for us. But our Italian partners have left already. They were going to miss their flight. I'm so sorry, but I really did everything I could. I got them to change their flight, and they're ready to sign the contract. like that. Hmm. Very nice. Quite cozy. Hmm. I like the color. Oh, and a nice bed. Woo! <laughs> oh, well, that's really nice. Yeah? And at least now I won't have a guilty conscience because I forced you to move out. What are you talking about? Thank you, Galia. You helped me find the apartment and move my things. You're welcome. <laughs> it's a pity Anton got sick. He was so eager to help. Well... So, now then, you have a place to live. Time to think of your private life. Oh, no. No more men. Why? Well, what about our boss? And what about our boss? Lena, don't be playing the fool. I see how he looks at you. Interesting. He gave you a promotion and a pay raise. Looks at you as if he's in love. What else do you need, Lena? Right now, I need to go to bed. I got it. I'm leaving. No, I didn't mean it that way. Everything's okay. Everything's fine. Get some rest. I'll see you off. Okay. Call me when you settle down here. Bye. Bye-bye. something? Galia! Uh. Good evening, Lena. Am I disturbing you? Oh, please, come in. Thank you. Well, what can I help you with? I needed to see you right away, and I'm glad I found you. Oh, is there something wrong? No. Well, yes. Uh. Uh, well, I've actually come to thank you and say sorry that I was short with you. We put so much effort into these Italians. If we'd lost the deal, it would have been really disappointing. Uh, yes, but everything turned out fine. Yeah. This is for you. Oh. Thank you. Oh, let's have some tea. With pleasure. Come in. Okay. Come in. Achoo! Oh. God bless you. Sorry. I think you're catching a cold. No, no, I'm fine. Uh, do you happen to have red pepper flakes? <laughs> what do you need red pepper for? What you need to do is crush them and add it to your tea. That's how my granny treated me when I was a kid. Tomorrow you'll feel good as new. <sighs> your granny was really original. Yes, you're right. <laughs> you know, my granny used to play the double bass. She played in a jazz band. 
She dreamt of me playing it too, but somehow, I actually preferred the saxophone. I was pretty good at it, so she took me everywhere. She put me in the front rows, and I dreamt that when I grew up, I'd still be playing the saxophone. Yes, it's beautiful. Uh, I dreamt of being a musician, yet my parents didn't think it was a serious career. Mm. As a result, I became a financier. Do you regret it? Sometimes. But now it's too late to change anything. My life's all right, I'm not sorry. All in all, I've always felt I missed out on something. Yes. Oh, I forgot to make tea. <sighs> oh, so what'd you miss out on? You. I think your fiancé thinks differently. I don't have a fiancé. Uh, well, then, what about Yana? And besides, just remember that you're the boss and I'm I your employee. I'd better go. Yes, I think you'd better go. Uh, uh, thanks for the tea. Goodbye. That was a good idea you had. To have a wedding party in the country house instead of a restaurant. <laughs> the party turned out to be really cool, right? Yeah, it did. <laughs> look at me, everyone. I am saving this for the Maldives. I look great, don't you think? Uh. <laughs> honey, what do you mean by the Maldives? Well, for the wedding trip that we're taking, don't tell me that you decided to go to the Alps and go skiing. Mm, my dear, I... The Alps and the Maldives might have to wait a while. Polich has given me a lot of work. Fine. Polich. Slava, tell me please how long you're going to be working for somebody else. Maybe it's time to rise to a new level? <sighs> Honey, what's going on right now? We will go to the Maldives. But later. Be careful. I warned you about this. A typical everyday life is not my thing. Mom? Hello, my darling. Hello. Well, I've come to see the newlyweds. Hello, Vika. Hello, my darling. Hello, Granny. We already had lunch, I'm sorry. I can offer you some coffee. Yes, coffee sounds good. Uh, I'll make it. Granny, don't get offended. It's okay, Vika's not having a good day today. She's just a little upset. Somebody will now go to her room, shut the door, and sit there quietly. Vika, why are you talking to the child like that? Maybe because it's my home now, and I can talk any way I want to, and I don't need your advice. Slava! Yes, Mom. I can't believe it, Slava. You really know how to pick them, don't you? If you don't care about yourself, then at least think about your own daughter. I do not deserve such a rude reception like this either. I will never set foot in your house again. But, uh... What the hell happened? Huh? I can't understand why your mom always comes by uninvited. What does she need? I have no idea. Maybe she wanted to ask me for some money to go on one of her spa trips or something. Excuse me, these expensive trips are also paid for by you? Well, sure. Oh, that's nice. So if your mom wants to go on vacation, she can do it, but your wife can't. What do you want from me? Your mom is as healthy as she could be, so she can go get some rest in the country.
Mom, listen, Vika and I are gonna go on vacation and then I'll send you to the Czech Republic. I don't need any of your charity. How can you be so blind? I can't understand why you would allow someone to treat you and Katja like that. She's wrapping you around her finger. Mom, please don't start with that. Don't speak about my wife that way. Okay, Slava. You have gone and changed so much, son. Why, when you were still with Lena. Lena? Mom, you... You tried to get rid of her for 17 years, and now you remember about Lena? You'll have your vacation in a country house, and that's it. Galia, how do you feel with Anton? Comfortable? <laughs> Comfortable is the wrong word. Lena, can you imagine? He's flawless. Really, he's perfect. I have never been so happy in my entire life. Listen, let's order some pizza. I'm so hungry. Have you gone crazy? What do you mean, pizza? Anton has made a perfect pilaf. Yummy. Really delicious. Perfect man, indeed. Ah, that's what I've been telling you. What's going on? Why is the door open? Anton? Anton, why is the door open? What? What's going on? What happened? And where is Anton? Lena is not available. Call the police. Well, well, well. When did you leave the house? As usual, I guess, at about nine. Was there anybody in the apartment then? Anton, my fiance. Surname? Kaldibova. And that's his, not yours? I don't know his surname. How come? You're living with a man and you don't even know his surname? Well, he just moved in here. How did you meet him? A dating site on the internet. Well, well, well. Sounds interesting. What does he look like? He's handsome. <laughs> with curly hair. Blue eyed. How old is he? 35, I think. Mm -hmm, interesting. Look here, please. Do you recognize someone? Well, yes. This one. Here on this side. Are you sure? Absolutely sure. Wait, where did you take his photo? Has something happened to him? Is he alive? He's alive, yes. Sorry, Miss Ivanova, he's a thief. A marriage fraudster. Gets acquainted with lonely women, wiggles into their lives, and then bang, they get their apartment ransacked. He's been doing that for quite a long time, yet we still can't seem to catch him. Miss? Excuse me, miss! Galia. Galia. <laughs> okay, good. I better go now, I guess. I'll summon you to the station if we need to ask further questions. Goodbye. 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 Galia. Nina. Was that really him? How? How could I have been so blind? That's it, I'm done. I'm completely done with men. Galia, forget him. We... We'll get over it. Well... We'll... Everything will be fine. <laughs> Roma, stop drinking whiskey as if it was water. Give it to me. No, I won't. Listen, I don't want my husband to be a drunk, all right? Are you gonna marry me? Hmm. Wow. Come here, little darling. Roma! Roma! Was that the door? No idea. This is a bad time. 
Hello, Hello. weren't you waiting for us? No. Here we are. <laughs> Come in. What's up? Ooh. Ooh. Hello. Now I understand why you're stuck here. Hello. Listen, it's empty. Come on, I told you to come earlier, mm. didn't I? Calm down. I'll organize everything now. Come on. That's great. Well then, Katya, will you be doing some belly dancing for us? No, I won't. Why not? Just because. Ooh. Ooh. Maybe next time. Go on. Go on, pour it. Like that? Mm hmm. That's enough. Mm hmm. Come on. Guys. Let's drink. It's about time. Katya? I don't drink. You should. <laughs> One more for us, then. Roma, you've had enough already. Ugh. You're not my wife yet, so don't order me around. How about you go get me something to eat from the fridge? Mm hmm? <sighs> Let's have well, some more. Well, a couple more. well, well. What's up? Why are you so dull? Hey. Just a second. What do we do now? Hey. Hmm. Just a moment. Just a moment. Just a moment. Yeah? Well, will you take your clothes off yourself? Or so shall I help you? You'll like it, really. Roma! Don't come near me! Get off! <laughs> <laughs> oh. What's wrong? You'll like it. Come here. Don't come, come near me. Calm down. Put the knife back. Get off. Calm down. Put the knife back. Calm down. You're crazy. Quiet, quiet, quiet. Get Everything out of here. Fine. Calm down. Put the knife back. Daddy. Dad, thank you so much, really. <gasps> Dad. How could I know they were going to attack me? Do you have any brain cells left? Someone else's apartment? Three drunk guys and you're there with them, right? You little brat! Just like your mother. Like mother, like daughter. Are you gonna come for lunch? No. Do I have to force feed you or what? What'd she say? She doesn't want to eat. I'm sorry. Mm. Well, we have to do something about it. She hasn't eaten anything for three days now. Right. I hope you now understand there has to be some radical solution. You have to admit, you can't manage the problem by yourself. Do you have any ideas? Well, I don't know. Send her to her mother. Are you nuts? What mother? Don't you dare mention her name here. What other ideas do you have? Shall I send her to England? To study? Mm. They say they have very good boarding schools over there. Slava, you know, I admire your kindness. You're a dream dad. England? Slava, are you sure this will solve your problems? You know that Katya can come back to live with me if she really bothers you that much. Mom, what are you talking about? She doesn't bother me. She doesn't bother you. But it's really obvious that your new wife can't stand her. I saw it firsthand with my own two eyes. Mom. Vika means well. All in all, if we can't deal with Katya, you couldn't deal with her at all either. Slava, the girl needs her father's love more than ever now. She needs discipline. Mm.
Mr. Vladimir, you need to sign this. Yes, come in, please. dare you? That's my phone. Give it back immediately. If you think I will calmly watch you try to take my place, you are mistaken. Listen, I don't plan on giving up my job or my man to some pig city girl. Is that clear? <sighs> Jonna, that's enough. Come into my office. Jonna, you've gone too far this time. Do you understand that after everything you've done, we cannot work together any longer? Well, I think you're right. I'm afraid of having to start over again. What do you mean? My life is in shambles, Vladimir. I've lost everything. The person I love, my respect, status. I've spent so much time and effort on my career, and what's the result of it? Absolutely nothing! I guess I'll have to start from scratch all over again, right? Oh, you mean to say it's all about work now? Not just work, Vladimir. I love you so much. Well, everything I did, I did it for you. Yet you don't appreciate it. It's a shame. Jonna, at least we're being honest with each other. It seems that we both know what to do now. You scared me. Good afternoon, my lady. What do you need? Well, nothing. Don't you have enough money for vodka? Why would you assume I want vodka? Why vodka? I've just come to introduce myself, to have a look around, to offer help if necessary. I know you live alone. Maybe you can't manage the household by yourself, as you're not so young anymore. <clears throat> Mr. Who are you? Ivan Velerievich. All right then, Ivan. I am not alone. I have a wonderful son. The house is fine. The furniture is almost new. I can manage it all by myself. So if you'll excuse me, I have a lot to do now. Well, I'm sorry, miss. Packing your things? As you can see. I guess you made it clear that we won't be able to work together anymore. Yes, you're right. We won't be able to work together. But you don't have to leave just yet. But why? Wait for a few days. You won't be sorry. Thank you for coming. You know the situation. I need to have a medical statement from you, which will say that the girl is mentally unstable and needs inpatient treatment. Vika, do you know that services such as these can cost a family a lot of money? Yes, I know. That's all for now, and the rest will be later. I hope we have a deal. Yes, we do. Can I ask you something? What is the problem with your stepdaughter? Her problem is her taking a bigger place in my life than I thought. Let's go.
Dad. What do you need? I wanted to talk. About what? Just that I feel really bad now. Apparently it's completely my fault. But I need your help. Please help me deal with all this. Who will help me if not you? Katya. I have always tried to meet you halfway. I am always ready to support you no matter what. But now I understand it was all in vain. You have continued to throw away every opportunity you've been given. But you're my father. Nobody needs me. I'm a burden to everyone. Hello, everyone. Please come in. Thank you. Hello, darling. Sweetie, this is the psychologist. She is here to help you out. Don't you understand? I don't need a doctor. I'm not sick. All I need is a normal family. I hate you so much. I hate all of you. Katya, Katya, don't make it even worse. I'm so sorry. Well, from what I saw and heard, it's all crystal clear. Your daughter needs urgent inpatient medical treatment. She is aggressive. Without treatment, the consequences may eventually turn out to be very serious. Could she be treated at home, perhaps? I mean, with the family? <laughs> yeah, you understand, at home, everything's just a little easier. Leave it to the professionals. And what are you doing out here? I'm filling out insurance policies for the employees. Well, just in case, to avoid court proceedings. Unforeseen expenses, so on in the future. Is that the insurance? Yeah. It's so expensive. This money could be invested. Well, I did think about it, but Polich won't change his mind. Hmm. Listen, have you ever had any accidents on your construction site? No, never. Okay. And we won't tell Paulich anything. Well, in principle... Of course, but still... Well, you know, Paulich is afraid of you, in fact. He understands that you can easily take his place. You're the best. Mm -hmm. Do you really think so? Yes. <laughs> I see you decided to paint the window frames. You should have used sandpaper first. Apply sandpaper to the wood, the paint will be more even. I could help if you'd like. I appreciate it, but I can do without your advice. Thank you. Well, I'm looking at you, miss, and I can't understand why you are so rude. I just want to help. I see you're alone. I never did ask for any of your help, Ivan. Give me your hand. Oh, don't touch me. Oh, careful. Ouch. Oh, I better stop arguing with you, otherwise I'll be as good as dead, I'm afraid. Oh. What? My elbow. Have you hurt your elbow? It's nothing. I'll tend to it. I have a first aid kit here. It's nothing. Would you like some hot tea? Of course. Please come in. Beautiful here. 
I haven't been out of town in ages. Mm. Hmm. Why are you so sad? Mm. Feeling down for some reason. Looking at all these couples. And I'm just thinking that I turn 40 soon. And I feel uneasy. Some managed to get married two or three times. Well, I've never been married. You're not 40 yet. You'll have your wedding party for sure. I just know it. Mm. Don't start comforting me. Sorry, Lena. Bing! I'm not much for conversation today. I'll go take a walk. What's going on? What? What? Uh, I've twisted my ankle. Oh, uh, wait. Hold on. What a day I'm having today. What a life I have. I'm not a woman, but a master of disaster. You're the best woman in the whole wide world. I understood that as soon as I laid eyes on you. Galia, I am in love with you. Will you give me your hand in marriage? Have you lost your mind? I'm half a life older than you are. It doesn't matter. Really? So then what matters? Ugh. I just believe. Believe. You'll feel good with me. Well, get off me! You... You... Can't you see that I'm not Cinderella and besides I'm lame now? Why would you want a woman like me anyway? Ugh. Ugh. Galia. Ugh. Let me carry you in my arms. Ah, this is so unnecessary. You're crazy. No. No, oh, I'm not crazy. crazy. I'm crazy. happy. Oh. So happy. Crazy. Oh, crazy. Happy. Oh, oh, you're too crazy. Happy. Oh, dear. Ah! Oh, God. Ah! You know, I never would have thought that you served in the Navy for all those years. Yes. 20 years away at sea. And then I decided to return. I had ties back home. To tell you the truth, my wife made conditions. She told me to finish all that, to give way to the younger generation. Otherwise, she threatened that she would divorce me. So is your wife content now? She died ten years ago. I'm sorry. So you are alone? I wouldn't say alone. My daughter visits me. But now she's living in the city. She got married and left. But every year, when they go on vacation, they make a point to visit me for sure. So why are you still here? Why don't you go and live with them? You can sell your house. Antonina, what are you talking about? <laughs> why would I bother them? Besides, I have my own home here. A kitchen, a garden, my livestock, cat. All of this needs to be looked after. I see. I also realized that, that I probably bothered my son too much. You know, he got married for the second time. And I suppose that I must be an undesirable guest at his home. And I guess that's that. You didn't find common ground with your daughter-in-law? No. You know everything is relative. Well, I didn't like his first wife that much either. But now I understand how terribly wrong I was. She didn't say a negative word or disrespect me for all those years that I knew her. Antonina, let me tell you something. You know it's never too late to correct your mistakes. Hmm. May I have your attention? Dear colleagues and friends, congratulations to all who have been with us since the beginning. Now we're five years old. We 
We've become a well-built team and a real family. I thank everyone for your contribution to our business. We've worked really hard, and I thank you for that. But unfortunately, the circumstances are such that I have to say goodbye. I'm glad to introduce the new managing director. You all know her, of course. This is Jana Kuznetsova. Please give her a warm welcome. Congratulations. Thank you very much. This news is really unexpected for me, and, and I'm happy. I'm glad to accept the responsibility laid at my feet, and I'll try to lead our company to even more successful results and an even more prosperous future. Lena, wait. Where are you going? I, uh, Galia got lost somewhere. I need to find her. Mm-hmm. It's a pity you're leaving us. I didn't expect it. Well, I'd like to talk to you, Lena. But in a more relaxing atmosphere. Uh, tomorrow, for example. Tomorrow's my day off. I would like to invite you to dinner. Please don't refuse, Lena. <laughs> I'll go. Thank you. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Did you want to talk to me? Please, come in. Thank you. I would like to thank you. <laughs> Mr. Well, Vladimir, I, uh... you don't have anything to thank me for. I mean, after all, I'm just an interpreter. Take a seat. I wanted to thank you for something else as well, Lena. You've opened my eyes to life. To the people around me. And to myself. I don't even understand how it happened. <laughs> you just... appeared and... at once it all became clear. <sighs> I've always been running. I've been rushing all my life. I spent so many years building this business. And now none of that matters. What matters to you then? You know, Lena. To me, yes, thank you. This is for you. <sighs> thank you. I left my business, I split up with Jana, and I want to start a new life. With you, Lena. I have a surprise for you. Stupid fools. You freaks, I hate you! I hate you! I hate you! I hate you! <laughs> What's going on? Why are you what screaming? What difference does it make? Mind your own business! Just get out of here! Oh my god, I'm so fed up with this. I am fed up with it. I'm calling the psychiatrist right now and they're gonna take you to the hospital tomorrow. I have no desire to deal with you! Anymore! Get out of here! Out of here! <laughs> Mom, please. Mom, please answer the phone. You played so beautifully, sir. 
Lena, please call me by my name. Okay. That's a good idea. <laughs> Thank you. I'm glad that you liked it. Frankly speaking, I don't want this evening to come to an end. Oh my god. What? My daughter just called me. She hasn't wanted to talk to me for a long time, and now there's a call from her. Has been disconnected. Oh, the phone is turned off. Area. Probably something happened. Wait, Lena, calm down. She may be in a tunnel or the battery's dead. Mm, no, I have a feeling that something happened. I need to go to Moscow, urgently. I'm sorry for spoiling the evening. No, no, I understand. You need to be with your daughter. You know, I left her once before, and I feel really guilty about that. I don't want it to happen again. Mm -hmm. Don't see me off. I'm sorry. <sighs> I'll always be waiting for you, Lena. Katya? Katya! My dear child! from here, please. I want to live with you. <sighs> of course, honey. Of course. Everything will be fine. That's it. Your papers are ready. We can go. Mom, let's call Grandma. I think she'll be happy. Are you sure? Yes, I know. Okay. Are you ready? Mm-hmm. Let's go. How good is it that you called me to meet up with you, my darling girls? A couple more days and you wouldn't find me here. Ivan and I are going oh. away on vacation to visit his sweet daughter for the whole month. P p pies like I made in the Navy. I'm going to the post office. Ivan, stay with us for a while. No, no. <laughs> Eat pies with cabbage. I baked them specially for you. Would you like one? Of course I would. Well, Grandma, I hardly recognized you. Irkutsk and also cabbage pies? Uh, what about French cuisine? Diets, Carlo Vivari? <laughs> oh, gotcha. You reevaluate some things when you get older. You start seeing most things differently. You learn to accept your mistakes. Okay, Grandma. I'm going for a walk. And what about tea? I'll be back soon. <sighs> Lena. Will you please forgive me? I was unfair to you. You are a decent woman, and you never deserved my nasty attitude. Antonina, I forgot everything long ago, and I'm very glad you got your personal life together. <gasps> By the way, it would do no harm for you to think about a husband. I have a daughter, and I'm thinking about her future. 
Katja has already grown up. She'll get married soon, and you will be left all by yourself. Under no circumstances should you give up hope. You must always be happy. <laughs> <laughs> Vika, what could I do? She could file for termination of custody because of everything that happened to Katya. What? I had to come to amicable terms with her. Yes, I'll be there soon. Yes, is there a problem? Mm-hmm. Come to the car. To the car. Go on. Get in. Uh, Pollich, what's going on? You're asking me what's going on. This is what's going on. You blew it, Slava. Blew it. Two men died earlier on the construction site. We contacted the insurance company, and we found out that there is no insurance at all. You really thought that you could deceive me? Stupid. <laughs> ah. Here's the deal. You'll pay for the workers' compensation out of your pocket. And I think you know you don't work for me any longer. Having said that, not a single construction firm will employ you, even as a security guard. I'll see to that myself. You can go. Where have you driven me to? Are we really going to live here? Why, don't you like it? You can live on the street, or just go back to your little village. I'm fed up with you. How am I going to get by? <sighs> You'll find a job. I guess Lena's no fool. Oh, girls, this is so great. Yes. The music. It's so it's beautiful. beautiful, yes. <laughs> Shall we go and find out who's playing? What? I said, shall we go and find out who's playing? Oh, sorry, I can't. Kolya's waiting for me at the doctor's. Oh. We're going to the ultrasound today. Goodbye. Bye. Mm. See Goodbye. you later. Bye, sweetie. <laughs> Thank you.